And now, your first alert weather. Heading close to 70 in Pocatello and the mid to upper 60s in Idaho Falls today. Yeah, it's been a gorgeous start to the week and we had a pretty nice Easter weekend. A few clouds on Saturday is expected, but really that was the worst of it. As we uh, take a look right now, the worst of it's the wind and that's it. It's going to be breezy here for this afternoon and through tonight. We're picking up on a few isolated hits of rain and snow in the coming days, but even then it's not a major amount of wet weather. But we do expect to see some rapidly melting snow, even in the mountains. I mean, check out Jackson, 50 degrees here, starting to see more of the grass on the sides of the road. We've got the winds out of the southeast at five miles an hour. We have one flood advisory to mention. This is for Bonneville and Jefferson counties. This is a flood advisory. This spot, especially out towards Roberts and to the Osgood area northwest of Idaho Falls, already starting to see some flooding in the low lying areas. Sheet flooding is going to be a concern. And then we have a wind advisory. This is for areas of Lemhi and Custer County with the approaching cold front. Now, what cold front? Well, this cold front. It's starting to roll in from the northwest right now with uh, areas of rain and snow through the Pacific Northwest, and we still have high pressure here. As this front nears, we're going to see the winds start to pick up here for tomorrow. We have more wind in there for Wednesday and Thursday with a few showers. Now, this front, though, isn't going to pack a big wallop of wet weather. The biggest nuisance here, it's going to be windy as we head through the next couple of days, but temperatures still above average. So the forecast showing us that we're going to hold on to the high pressure here, especially out of the four corners. The front starts coming through tomorrow morning, and then we'll see a few isolated pockets of rain and snow by tomorrow night. We'll see a deepening trough of low pressure. We will have the temperatures coming back down a bit into the 50s and 40s as we get later in this week here, especially closer to the weekend with a few areas of snowy weather, but most of the snow and rain to the north of us across Montana. Here's a look at the Vipercast tonight about three in the morning. We're starting to see little hints of rain and bit of some mountain snow up towards Stanley and areas around Salmon and Chalice. Then as we get through the day tomorrow, we're going to see the winds crank up and some clouds rolling on through and you'll notice there's a minor threat for rain, mainly stretching into the mountains close towards Jackson and Driggs and Victor. Then we have more of these mountain showers coming in here for Wednesday. Wednesday with partly cloudy skies for the Snick River Plain and more wind with dropping temperatures. But for tomorrow, numbers actually above the normal range for once. We haven't seen that in a long time with highs peaking in the low to mid 60s for Idaho Falls, close to 70 for Pocatello. We got 60 in Preston tomorrow, 61 in McCammon and the upper 50s in Soda Springs. Check out Jackson at 61. We got 58 in Rexburg and 55 in Island Park with the upper 50s towards Driggs and Swan Valley with lows tonight back to to the 30s. In that extended forecast for Jackson, you got highs here into the low 50s for Wednesday with a shot of some rain and snow. And then we're into the upper 30s for the high Thursday. There's the cold front coming through. So yeah, it's going to get chilly around here for Thursday and Friday, but the temperatures are expected to rebound nicely for Saturday and Sunday with highs in the 40s and 50s. Rexburg, a high of 58 tomorrow, down to the lower 50s for Wednesday, then the upper 30s for Thursday. Moving over to the central Idaho mountains, we got highs around 62 for Salmon, 57 in Chalice, and 48 for the high in Mac with 50 in Arco. Salmon, your eight-day forecast, we got a high of 62 tomorrow with the upper 40s for Wednesday. Then we're down to the lower 40s for Thursday with a shot of more wet weather working through the valleys of central Idaho, clearing out with some partly cloudy skies this Saturday and Sunday. Now back into the Snake River Plain, we got the upper 60s tomorrow for Blackfoot and close to 70 for Pocatello. Idaho Falls getting to about 63 tomorrow with those gusty winds making it feel just a bit colder out there. Blackfoot temperatures are dropping to the 50s on Wednesday. Then we're dropping down to the 40s on Thursday as we get on the other side of this cold front. But watch the temperatures rebound rather quickly as we get into next week there for Thursday and Friday and heading into the weekend. So as we head to Pocatello, again, temperatures are peaking around 70 tomorrow. Then we're dropping it down to the mid 50s on Wednesday. 40s for Thursday and Friday. So yeah, it gets a bit chilly with those winds and the numbers are starting to get back into those 50s and 60s for the Saturday and Sunday. Idaho Falls, 63 tomorrow. We're looking at 53 for Wednesday, then we're down to the lower 40s for Thursday. You'll see the temperatures climbing back to the 50s and 60s, at least for the weekend. Nice, right, Todd? Yeah. I mean, yeah, it's going to be windy. We'll have a little spring winds coming back yeah. in here, but temperatures, yeah, not we too We don't want to do a big jump too, no. too quickly. <laughs> I mean, it will get back down to the 40s for highs, yeah. and we'll feel that, um, especially with the lows still getting below freezing at night. Not all bad. Okay. No. Michael, thanks a lot. Let's check your consumer news now. Investors are in for a busy week ahead of economic data, including the latest consumer price and producer price index data for March. That's due 